Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. We got the gang out with us today. We're out here in Cape Cod Bay, beautiful Plymouth, Massachusetts. And today folks, we're gonna head out and see if we can hook into some nice tasty cod. So stay tuned. Okay folks, we just uh, hit our spot here. We're fishing at about 60 to 80 feet of water. And I've got two rigs rigged up here. Um, I've got a flexi jig on the bottom. Actually, I'll show you this one here. Flexi jig on the bottom with the shad. And I've got a T-turn tied on here with one of Big John's tremblers as a teaser rig. And I'm just gonna work that along the bottom. And the other rig I've got set up here, it's a nice interesting little rig. Same sort of setup. I've got a uh, flexi jig set up right here. And um, inside the flexi, what I've got folks, is I've got a white tube jig, but I put a twister tail inside the tube jig. And, uh, and then I rigged it onto my, uh, onto my flexi jig. And that folks is gonna look just like a squid down there. So Antonio's got the same thing rigged up. So I'm gonna open up with the shad, put this aside for now and see which one's hitting first. If he starts banging them on, on the squid type imitator, then I'll switch over to that. But in the meanwhile, I think I'll run this shad and see if we can hook into, uh, hook into a cod or two. Like I say, we're fishing in about 60 to 80 feet of water and it's all rock here on the bottom. There's a lot of lobster traps out here so we have to be careful for those. But uh, this is a really nice spot and we're hoping to get into some fish today. How you making out Antonio? Not bad, no okay. fish yet. No fish yet and we got Dougie sitting in the corner, Phil's back there too. We got, a, we got a boat full. How you making out down there Doug? I just got a raspy. You got a... <laughs> Did you? Okay Dougie. We'll use him for bait. Okay. Yeah. Professional fisherman here. <laughs> There's the first hook set of the day right there, folks. It doesn't feel very big. I don't know what I've got. I I don't know. He's kind of fighting like a cod, but it doesn't feel that heavy, though. I got a net handy there, eh? Actually, he's... Ah! It's hard to say, folks. It really is. Okay, what do we have here? Yeah, we've got ourselves a cod. There's the first cod of the trip right there, folks. Actually, that's a nice fish. What do you think, Antonio? Pretty good. Pretty good. I don't that's think he'll nice measure, one. eh? Measure them just in case. Measure them just in case. Okay, they gotta be 19 inches. Look at that, he just inhaled that shad. Inhaled it. Let's see. Okay. Oh, look at that, it's just uh, it's splattered all over the boat. Okay, quick measurement on the cod. Actually, guess what, folks? He's over 20 inches. Can you imagine? Doesn't look it, does it? That's why I told you to measure. A good idea, Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> we got some dinner. You know what, folks, these cod, they don't fight like your typical saltwater fish, because your typical saltwater fish are just so strong. These guys don't put up a big fight, but it's all about the eating when it comes to cod. Cod are one of the, probably one of the most tastiest fish around in the saltwater realm. And this one's gonna have, he's gonna cook up tonight real nicely. Well, I'm excited now. I didn't think I had a cod on there. Thought it was something else smaller, but let alone a keeper. <laughs> Trying to cover as much ground as I can, so I'm casting it out there, letting the jig get, let that flexi jig get right down to the bottom, and then I'm just slowly jigging it back towards the boat. And I'm running a 30 pound braided line right now. I've got the Thunder braid on. And uh, with that braided line, you could feel absolutely everything. And that's really what you need, especially when you're fishing deep water. I've got 30 pound braid, but then I've got a 25, a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And uh, the fluorocarbon leader, of course, you need it just so the fish don't see the line because fish can see the braid and if they're a little tentative, you definitely want to have a fluorocarbon leader or a mono leader. But for now, just a jig. Jig it off the bottom, let it hit back down, nice and easy. And when the cod hit, folks, there's no mistake, they really hit and with this braided line, you feel everything, it's great. This one feels a little bit better, folks. Dougie, did you see that hook set? 
Yes, I did. I thought you were going to fall out of the boat. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, it was a great one. Yeah, I hope it's a cod. If it's a cod, it's a decent one, guys. Oh, that's one thing about these bites when, if it is a cod, there's no mistake in the bite. They just hit it hard and they just take that bait right in. And it's so much fun. He's fighting like a cod. And like I say, they're not the best, strongest fighting fish, but it's all about catching dinner for tonight, folks. Okay. <laughs> Dougie, I promised you a cod dinner tonight. Yeah, and I might be the only one eating. <laughs> it could be. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. He's on the Big John Trembler. Look at this, folks. That's a nice cod. Oh, that's a beauty. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that. I got a, I got a cunner on the bottom, too. <laughs> Double header, Dougie. <laughs> oh. Antonio, check this out. Sweet. Look at that. Nice right cunner. there. And this other fish on the bottom, cunner. Okay. <laughs> that guy off the bottom there, folks. There we go, right on. That's why I like using the teaser right there. He did not hit the shad, but he did hit the Caesar. Look at Is that. that. A, just a came. red and white uh, it's, it's got a little bit of orange in there, Dougie. Yeah. One of Big John's tremblers. Yeah. I got two on here with my bucktail. Now there, folks, is a nice keeper cod right there. And when I talk about good eating, that's fantastic eating right there. And we'll make sure we take the cod cheeks out as well. But boy, oh boy, that's a nice fish, folks, right there. Dougie, you, you didn't even have your rod in your hand, Doug. I didn't have to. <laughs> good fishermen don't have to. <laughs> yeah, but I had to tell you the fish was on. Uh, that's the funny part. Folks, Dougie, Dougie was sitting there and Phil's yelling, Doug, your rod, your rod. I was eating a banana. <laughs> was it a good banana, Doug? Yeah. You, you think you got a cod or what? Oh, looks yeah. like it's got some weight to it there. It's a big fish. Yeah, that's a good one. I Great hope so. Weight. Nice. I hope so, Dougie. Antonio, you waking up over there? It's getting up. Oh, it's a good oh, one. You got two. Oh, oh, it's a, what do you got? Oh, it's a cod, a big cod. Nice. And it's got someone else's line too. It's got something. Nice. Nice fish. Way to go, Dougie. Way to go. Well, that's that measures. That'll measure. I'm telling you, you, you come back grip. to life. You got him, Doug? Getting up. Waking it's up. Stuck in my finger. You got him now? Yeah. Okay. It's my turn now. How do you like that? Yo, know, folks, I'm loving that braided line. The hook sets are just solid. Solid hook sets. And that was a good bite. We just came up for another drift. And that was my first cast in. And he hit it just on the way down. Just as it hit bottom. I'm hoping it's another keeper cod. He's got weight to him and he's not fighting, so it's a good sign it's a cod. <laughs> What do you think, Doug? Nice. Oh, yeah, that, that's a great sea rub. <laughs> oh, we got ourselves a cod, Dougie. Well, that's good. Oh, well, that's yes. a nice size. Yes, it is a nice size. Oh, that's beautiful. There's another nice cod right there, folks. Well, we're going to eat tonight. Yes, we are. We are going to have ourselves a phenomenal dinner. Tonight, no question, that flexi jig, look at that, the hook sets, I love it. Oh man, we're having a riot out here. Cape Cod Bay, fishing this shoal. 60 to 80 feet of water, folks. And all we're doing is just drifting back and forth over the shoal. Oh, working these flexi jigs right on the bottom, just bouncing them on the bottom. This one feels like another good fish, guys. Oh boy, did he hit good too. Oh, I see some, I see him down there. There he is. Oh yeah. Oh, that's another nice fish. Oh yes. Oh yes, folks. Oh 
Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, man. This one does not have to measure. Antonio, what do you think? That's nice. <laughs> oh, that's too small. Too small, Dougie? Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow, folks, I'm telling you, that flexi jig right up the snout all the time. I can get it out. There we go. Folks, if you make your way out to Cape Cod, Come out of Plymouth, find yourself a nice rock pile, and have some fun with some cod. Lots of great fishing out here, lots of other fish, but you know what? This one is fun to catch and so good to eat. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. We're going to keep drifting out here. We're having a great day. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great day also. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck. We got a good fish. And good fishing. And let's see what Antonio's got on before we sign off. And we've got his brother. This is a nice fish. Oh, Antonio, right down the... Let me get this one in the cooler. Can you get an edit for me? Oh, that's a big cod. That's a nice that's cod. A nice cod. Yeah, I'll net it for you. Feels like a cod. <laughs> He's coming in like a cod. my leader there. There's your leader line. Oh yeah, that's a nice cod. That's a nice cod, Antonio. You got him on the macro rig. Yeah. Macro rig cod right there. Nice. Tuckered right out. I what? think a shark ate him. Oh, look at this. A shark ate him. That, folks, this is unbelievable. <laughs> look at that.